actually love roller coasters. I especially love family-friendly roller coasters that aren't too horribly intense and don't include any turns upside down. So I kind of did a little reading about the roller coaster because I'm really not familiar with the uh, rock and roller coaster. So uh, there's three inversions and apparently they're not like big loop inversions, which is what I'm really afraid of. So they're just kind of like corkscrew or serpent style and they go pretty fast. So calming myself down. So I'm not too nervous about getting on this brand new ride. So there's the entrance to the ride I'm going to go on that I've never been on before. The rock and roll, rock and, rock and roller coaster. And uh, seeing that car upside down, it's giving me agita because I don't like being upside down. I'm taking one for the team. I'm going to scout this ride out, see what I need to get decent video for you guys. Standby for this is 120 minutes. There is actually a single rider entrance. I did not know that for this. Had I known, I wouldn't even bothered with the fast pass. I would have gone single rider, but I have fast pass. So what I'm gonna do is head over to the cast members at the fast pass area and ask them about any plus size seating if they have larger seats available. Hi guys, I was editing last night and I realized that on the day I did the ride, I was so nervous that I forgot to film key information, but I'll fill in the gaps right now. I did approach that cast member at the Fast Pass podium, and I asked her if there were larger seats for bigger people. She told me all the seats are the same size, but that I would definitely fit. I weigh 350 pounds, I'm five foot four, and I wear a US women's size 30, 32. And uh, my chest size is a 46 double D. Now the cast member saw that I was very nervous and she said, if you'd like to practice getting on and off the ride, there is a tester seat. So it was a good thing I went up to her and told her because that tester seat is not out in the open. In fact, she had to call ahead to another cast member who met me and took me inside to an area that's cast members only where I could try the tester seat. Now the tester seat is just like the ride seats with one exception. The side panel of the car opens up to allow someone who's in a wheelchair to slide into it. In fact, this tester seat is designed for people who are in wheelchairs to practice getting on and off the ride. When I tried the tester seat, I left that side panel door shut so it was more like a regular car so I could practice getting in and out of it. It's not easy to get in and out of this vehicle, but it is totally possible. If, however, you find it's really, really hard, look at the instructions on the wall for the tester seat, open up that side panel, and try getting on and off with that door open. If you find it is easier to get in and out of the vehicle with that side panel open that's meant for wheelchair accessibility, before you get in line for the ride, talk to a cast member and let them know that you want to use the wheelchair accessible car, and they will assist you from there. Don't wait till you get in line. It might be a little late at that point. Before you get in line, talk to a cast member and they'll help set you up. Okay, that kind of fills in the gaps of the story that I needed to tell, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the footage of the car right now. Please keep in mind that I was super nervous and I was by myself, so it's not the best footage on earth and not the best audio, but you're going to get some really good images and a really good idea of what that seat looks like. Guys, you're not going to believe this, they have a tester seat and it's way off hidden in a back corner. You have to ask about it and they'll show you how to get there. It's kind of actually in cast member area. So I'm going to try it out. I want you to see what the seats look like. They look about as wide as test track. I was told by the cast members that I should have no issue fitting. Kind of looks like if you have long legs, those little bumps on either side here might be a problem. But I'm short, so let's see how it goes. I haven't got anyone to take me, so I'm doing this myself. But I want you to see, here's like the divider between the seats, so it's tight. Close fit. But I am inside the vehicle. I'm gonna see if I can show you 
the foot room. So here is the leg room. Like my feet are right up against this thing. So if you're tall, you're gonna be pretzeled in here. This is quite the step. I navigated this, I had a little trouble. I had to step on top of that, down onto this little ledge, which is the seat, and then down into the well. It looks like they have a lot of handles and stuff to grab hold of, so hopefully that will help. I'm gonna try to put down the restraint. Here's what the restraint looks like down. I have no idea if this is down far enough, simply because these don't lock on the test seat, but I was told that I should fit without issue. I also want to show you that they have this sign here showing you how to transfer from a wheelchair into the seat. And that's really what this practice seat is for, but it's a good way for you to test too for size and fit. Whew. Well, that seat was not easy for me to get out of. I was a little bit of a pretzel, but I made it. So I'm going to go try the ride. Wish me luck. Well, I feel really dumb about being nervous about that ride because it was amazing. I loved it and I was able to get on and off without any issue. I recommend though, um, each of the cars, which I can maybe cut in here and show you, has like a two, four seats in each of the cars and the two front seats have like a little bit of a hood at the front of them which is going to make it easier for you to like bend over that and like hang on to it to get out of the car so if you can i would recommend that you try to sit in that front two seats of the car that you're in um as i was getting on the ride uh the cast member who was assigning the rows i asked him i said do you think because of my size it would be better for me to sit on my own and he said well you don't have to but if you'd like to you may and I said, may I please? I would really like that. He said, absolutely no problem. And he allowed me to be seated by myself, which was great. It made me a lot more comfortable and I wasn't as nervous about encroaching on somebody else's space. Another tip for this ride, on this ride, I took my glasses off and I put them in my bag and I think that was a smart idea. Um, also, if you're wearing big clunky earrings or big hoops or like big chunky earrings, I would urge you to take those off and slip them in your bag, simply because your head kind of bangs a little bit back and forth against the headrest, which comes up around your ears and that might hurt a little bit. So slip those out of your ears and you'll be a lot more comfortable. My final tip for you for this ride is to make sure you have your head well back into the headrest as the ride starts and throughout the ride because the g-force is really 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 unbelievable it's like less than three seconds it goes to 57 miles an hour like right out of the gate so your head could go kaboosh if you don't have your head all the way back on the back of the uh, headrest in the back so make sure you do that and you'll be nice and comfortable so this ride does require that you transfer if you're in a wheelchair you should not ride it if you're pregnant, if you have motion sickness, high blood pressure, heart or back or neck conditions. Um, I felt it was a very smooth ride and a very comfortable ride. And the upside down inversions, which there are three, did not bother me in the least. It didn't make me queasy. It didn't make me motion sick. I had more stomach issues and upset and worry and nervousness before I got on the ride than actually on the ride. The ride's fantastic. I can't wait to ride it again. Now, I highly recommend you try this ride. If you're in good health, you're gonna love it. In fact, you're gonna enjoy the ride. <laughs>